Zimbabwean born artist Brett Charles Saylor's latest exhibition titled Closet is set to open this week. In his body of work, Brett has incorporated figurative forms, text and language to tell stories through poetic snapshots of a time before queer liberation in society. The exhibition opens on the 25th of January and will be open for public viewing at the Goodman Gallery in Johannesburg until the 29th of February. While Brett is here in studio to take us through his latest project Brett it's so awesome to have you on the show thank you so much for coming morning how are you <laughs> I'm awesome okay. I want to talk about the closet I understand that it's a continuation of your ongoing interest in um, themes of longing distance and nostalgia yeah. take us through that yeah basically a lot of my work revolves around um, nostalgia and the coming of age almost like a coming of coming out mm. um, story and a narrative yeah, basically that. And and why that kind of narrative? Why is that of great interest to you? I think um, just historically, in terms of just the gay experience and what it means to mm. to have that, that kind of story. Yeah, and, and talk to us about um, the actual body of work that you've produced. You've used a variety of materials. materials you've yeah. um, you've used um, um, text as well to just, you know, give a broader sense of what it is that you're, you're trying to say. Just take us through yeah. what it is that you used in which sense and why. So basically a lot of the, there's a lot of um, paintings and text and I combine text and paintings together to mm. kind of give it more of an association. Um, and a lot of the the paintings are referenced to old images that I've found and that's why they're in black and white and mm. it gives it that very nostalgic feel to it. Just out of curiosity, the era in which you look at, of course, which is um, before um, uh, the, the LGBTQI community has, you know, was really um, sort of accepted or um, allowed to have some sort of uh, freedom in, in society. Yeah. Um, why this particular area? Is that something you went through personally? I'm really or? interested in um, what it means to be gay post the gay liberation mm. and what what historically was missed and what we didn't know and what we are learning. So it's a continuous research of that. And, and take us through some of those those learnings. I mean, at the moment, you know, the world is really moving towards um, more liberation, more acceptance yeah. and more integration. For so sure. what are some of the lessons that you learned about the era prior to this one? Uh, a lot of things um, in, in my research of learning about like the AIDS crisis mm. um, and kind of all those sort of situations, mm, yeah. Mm. And and in terms of your research, I mean, did you did you speak to people? Did you interview people? For sure, did yeah. You I, I speak to everyone. Yeah, yeah, and a lot of a, a lot of um, reading, but mostly people who have lived through it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And was there um, in the people that you spoke to? Was there something that sort of came up over and over and over again, just from the different people? Yeah, just um, a lot of things that I learned was. Um, people were like scared, such as like people in Seapoint on the promenade, they were mm. scared of like the police um, coming to get them. Yeah. I yeah. learned that. I know that a few of my friends were arrested even. Wow. Yeah. Just for being gay. Yeah. And also probably cruising at the time because mm. cruising was a thing back then. Mm. Yeah. Let's talk about your relationship with the Goodman Gallery. How did that come about? I mean, this is definitely not your first exhibition, but it is your first exhibition at, at the, the Goodman. Gallery, yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, it's a, it's in a, the viewing room and it looks like a project space. It looks really great. I'm really excited. Um, <laughs> yeah, and they asked me to do a show and I said yes. And they made like a, a floor. The walls are painted black. There's chalk. So it starts to look like an installation. And you really feel like you're in the space of my head. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want people to take away from the work that you've produced when they're doing the walkabout? What are some of the things that you'd like them to think about? Or what, what would you like to um, have people be more sensitive about when it comes yeah. to issues of, of being gay? I think, that, um, I think that a lot of the work is very vulnerable and it takes on like a very... Um, personal experience and I think mm. from viewing the work one can like learn something about themselves or relate mm. to it and that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. All right. Now you're always putting a, an emphasis on um, gay rights in your work and, and activism. Yeah. How, how important is that to you to not just be um, a gay man but to be a gay man who actually advocates and continues to raise awareness for the rights of gay people? You're very important. Um, I think it's just um, a string of everything. Mm. Um, yeah. 
very important for me to yeah, do. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, um, your 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 future work. What more do you still hope to do through your art? What more would you like to teach people yeah. through the incredible work that you do? Um, I would like to just do bigger scales um, and do um, a bunch more installations. Yeah. Um, and just to have it more accessible to the public, maybe mm. do like public work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And just your message finally to uh, people out there who are watching this interview, people who hold different perceptions about gay people, people who may not accept gay people. What is your heartfelt message to um, those people? I think, it, I think the exhibition also maybe perhaps normalizes it. Mm. So maybe it's also a, a way of understanding. Just yeah. The LGBTQI plus community. Yeah, yeah, you are here. You are occupying the yeah. space. You are alive. You're doing well. Yes. And it's 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 all about incorporating yeah. uh, different kinds of people yeah, into it's our making society. Making space. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Brett, okay. you've been incredible. Thank Loved you, having you here. I love you're such a you. ball of energy. <laughs> <laughs> all the best for your exhibition. Thank you so much. <laughs> you can say hi, mom. Uh, hi, mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's contemporary artist okay. Brett Charles Saylor and he's been speaking to us about his latest exhibition called Closet that's set to run from the 25th of January until the 29th of February at the Goodman Gallery right here in Jahan.